Hi everybody as all of you know that we are continuing on playlist of GCP cloud associate exam and our main agenda of this playlist is to help you in clearing this exam with minimal effort and minimal time we have already uploaded four parts before this i request all of you to watch those videos before starting this video and guys our flow will be like this like we will be discussing the topic first after that we will solve previous question asked on those topics and at last we will do a practical to cover all the concept that we have studied in this playlist so guys today's topic is google compute engine and this is very important topic from exam perspective as well as knowledge perspective also so guys i request all of you to please like this video and subscribe to the channel for getting more updates regarding this this question may be coming to your mind that why google has given the service of google compute engine so guys let me tell you that if you want to deploy your applications then you need servers or virtual machine so either you have to rent them or you have to buy them but guys it is very difficult for us to maintain all the infrastructure associated with these servers and maintain them so that's why google has provided different services like google compute engine google kubernetes engine google app engine google functions cloud run so that we can deploy and scale our applications efficiently without much efforts okay i hope you get this point now guys let me tell you that what is google compute engine so guys before discussing about google compute engine let me tell you that what is virtual machines so guys virtual machines are nothing but virtual servers and on these virtual servers you will deploy your applications and what is google compute engine so basically it provisions and manages different vms for us so guys there are different features of google compute engine so it helps us in load balancing it means that it can automatically increase the number of vm instances depending upon your needs so during peak hour it can increase your vm size let's say to 100 and if there is no traffic then it can decrease your vm size to zero also okay it also provides us different storage because when you deploy your applications you need some memory also so it will provide storage also it will provide you different networks also so i think basics of google compute engine is almost clear to all of you now let's deep dive in now guys basically you have to create vm instances in your google compute engine to deploy your application now there are different ways of creating vm instances either you can create manually either you can use a startup script either you can use instance template or you can go for custom images also i will let you know what is the difference between using all of these one by one so first start manually so let's say you want to create a vm instance so in that case what you have to do is you have to select different machine types and family based upon your use i will explain you in few minutes after that you have to select the image i mean with the help of this image you can select the operating system like operating system on which you want to deploy your application let's say you want to install some apache server or python for applications to run then in that case after vm instance is ready you have to run the commands to install different kinds of softwares applications to run your application so this step is manual so let's say if you want to deploy your application to 100 inst vm instances then in that case you have to run the command for 100 times so this is a very tedious job so in order to remove this problem google has come up with a startup script so what we do in a startup script is that there is section called a startup script i will show you in a while inside that startup script you can write all your command like which os you want to install which server you want to install you can write everything in that script and it will be automatically installed once your vm instance is ready okay but the problem here is that if you write everything in a startup script then boot time for vm instance will be very high it means that when you create your first vm instance then google will take some time to create that vm instance okay and let's say you are writing so many things in a startup script then the boot time for that vm instance will be very high you have to wait for few minutes before it becomes ready so we should avoid this startup script concept now the next concept is of instance template let's say you have to create 50 vm instances okay you have to create 50 vm instances and all instances will be of a similar type so in that case you have to write all the steps at least 50 times okay secondly if you are going for a startup script also so in that case also you have to write these steps in a startup script okay it's just that once your vm instance is ready you are not required to do these steps 
if you are going with startup script but you have to write 50 times this so this problem was resolved by instance template so let's say you are creating one instance template in that you have mentioned all of your details like which machine type you need which image or which operating system you need after putting all these details you can create an instance template and you can use this instant template to create further many instant template you just have to copy the configurations and paste it over there so if you have to create so many instances of similar kind then in that case you should go for instance template also since you are creating so many instances with the help of instance template at the same time so that's why it will come in a group so gcp will ask you that whether you want to create this instance in managed instance group or unmanaged instance group so if you create your template in managed instance group then in that case what happens is that everything will be managed by gcp they will give you so many configuration options in which you can mention that how many minimum number of instances you want at any particular time how many maximum number of instances you can want at any particular time and your instance count will be automatically configured okay now the last option is with the help of custom image now let's say if you have created one instance with the help of instance template but you need some slight modifications in that instance so in that case you have to create a new instance template and from that instance template you have to create a new instance you cannot modify the vm instances which have been created by instance template so in order to remove this problem custom image concept was given so while we were creating VM instance for the first time manually, so in that case we have been asked about select the image. Okay, so there are two kinds of image. One is Google image and second is custom images. So if you're going with Google predefined images, then they have given certain kind of operating system and software which that image will install for you. But if you want something different, some different OA, some different softwares according to your requirement, then in that case you should go for custom image. Now let's discuss about machine types and families that we have discussed few minutes back. So there are three types of machine types and families. One is general purpose. So you have to select general purpose if you want to deploy a simple web application, a simple dev work or a small database. If you want to use in-memory database or in-memory analytics, then in that case you have to go for memory optimized machine. And if you want high performance, high CPU optimized operations, then in that case you should go for compute optimized machine type. So for compute optimized it's C2. For memory optimized it's m2 m1 and for general purpose it's e2 n2 n1 and n2d so you can see here when you go to the compute engine inside gcp you can see different options to create virtual machines you can use vm instances you can use instance template you can use machine images three types you can use okay so guys you can see here they are asking for machine family so you have to select different kinds of machine family that you want on which your vms will be built in okay so let's say if you are choosing compute optimized so you will be cost heavily so let's say you are choosing general purpose then in that case you will be charged very less so but according to needs you have to select the machine types okay after that they will ask for boot disk it means like operating system on which your vm will be built in so there are different predefined images provided by google you can choose them or you can go to the change option here and you can select your boot disk according to your you can see here public images and custom images and you can select the custom images from google registry container okay you have to upload your custom images first to the google container registry and from there and then you can select the image from here itself okay and you can see startup script also if you go down in this page then you can find automation startup script here you can write app update app why install apache 2 or app install uh, python 3 or app install java whatever so you can write all the scripts here in startup script and it will reduce your load okay so guys in next video we will discuss few more concepts of compute engine and then we will discuss few questions that have been asked previously and i promise you that after solving all those questions you are not going to miss a single question exam thank you guys for watching the video